Hi everyone, my name is Chang Huan. I'm happy to introduce our work, Network Load Balancing with In-Network Reordering Support for RDNA. This is a joint work with my collaborators, Shinji, Raj, Inho, Jialin, and my advisor, Manchun. RDNA is the emerging standard in modern data centers. It provides a high networking performance and low CPU overhead at the same time by offloading transport to NIC hardware and bypassing host OS. It has shown its versatility with combination of many applications such as RPC, storage, and AI ML, and showed its practicality with a production-level deployment in Microsoft and Alibaba cloud data centers. Although there are such benefits, we noticed that RDME doesn't fully use the path diversity in data center networks. In this talk, we will be talking why existing load balancing designs do not fit well into RDMA and propose our solution. First of all, ECMP is de facto standard mechanism for RDMA in data center networks. ECMP uses hash-based packet forwarding and thus packets of the same flow always go to the same path. However, it does not evenly distribute flows based on their flow size by hash collisions. In opposite way, a packet load balancer such as packet spray makes rerouting decisions for every packet and provides a near optimal load balance. However, it costs many out of order packets as different paths may have different delays, and RDMA is known as highly sensitive to out of order packets. To see that, we performed an experiment to measure the effect of out of order packet by selecting one random packet and artificially delay its transfer. We find that unlike TCP's three duplicated act, RDMA has no tolerance to out of order packet, and even a single out of order packet largely increases flow completion time up to three times. To mitigate the out of order arrivals, many existing works leverage flowlet design. Flowlet makes rerouting only if there is enough time gap between packets, so it effectively reduces the possibility of out of order packets. However, the issue is that such enough time gap is hardly found in RDMA trace. We experimentally checked this by transferring a bulk data with 8 concurrent connections and measured the data fraction of a flow size with time gap threshold 10 microsecond and 100 microsecond. The y-axis shows the CDF of data fraction. We find that while we see many flow lists in TCP, it's hard to find flow lists in RDMA. It is mainly because TCP uses batch processing for I.O. optimization, while RDMA uses hardware-based packet pacing. To recap, we find a common trade-off between rerouting granularity and the amount of out-of-order packets in the context of RDMA. So, how can we catch two rabbits, the fine granularity and in-order packet delivery? To ensure in-order packet delivery, a natural idea is to restore packets back in order in network or before they reach to destination. First, why it must be in network? Why not endos handle this? It is because RDME bypass host OS, so host cannot intervene in RDME communication. In addition, the commodity RDME hardwares are predominantly hard to modify the behavior. Then, where we can reorder packets? In fact, we find the opportunity from the features of recent programmable switch, Intel Tofino 2, that allows to store packets in the network with multiple FIFO queues and queue post resin capability. From this opportunity, we propose Conweave, a network load balancer for RDMA. Conweave is running on Tor switches, thus it is endos agnostic. At a high level view, it makes rerouting at source Tor and reorder packets at destination Tor. Conweave has three key components such as path monitoring, path selection, and packet reordering for a fine grain rerouting and in order packet delivery. In this talk, I will be describing the challenges and techniques in packet reordering. Although we find the opportunity of packet reordering, we notice that reordering arbitrary packet order is difficult on switches because of a lack of sorting primitives and limited hardware resource. For example, suppose there are four packets incoming in the reverse order. To reorder them, 
we need to store the packets to FIFO queues and flush them individually, but that is expensive to do in line rate on switch. So to make the reordering manageable, how to limit the amount of reordering? Our key idea is to make rerouting only if there is no in-flight out of the packets. By doing that, it enables to reorder one flow using only one queue and make reordering manageable. Here we give an example. Suppose there are two paths between a pair of Tor switches and the current path is congested so we want to make rerouting. When the next packet comes in, we put a packet tag tail that indicates this is the last packet before rerouting. After sending, we make rerouting. For the next, next incoming packet, we send to the new path. If packets arrive out of order, then we dynamically assign the queue and buffer the packets. When destination received tail packet, it implies that all packets before rerouting have arrived, so we flush the reorder queue. After flushing, we send clear signal to the source, saying that there is no more in-flight out of order packets, so we can make new rerouting. Overall, Conviv effectively controls rerouting to make packet reordering easy to manage on switches. Also, it is remarkable that Conviv can make rerouting for every RTT that is the sum of tails forward and clears backward time while delivering packets in order. Next, we show our evaluation results. We performed evaluation on Rocky V2 testbed on lossless Ethernet. We used 2 to 4 leaf spine topology that consists of 16 RDME nodes of 25G ports. We compare Conweave with existing works such as ECMP, LeftFlow, and Drill under network load 80% using RPC workload. We measure the average and 99.9% .9 flow completion times. We first see that the flow rate and per packet rerouting performs similar or worse than ECMP, which is what we expected from our previous discussion. Compared to ECMP, Conviv reduced the average and 99.9 percentile .9 FCT by 16.8 percent and 44.4 percent respectively. We also see the similar improvements in different loads. Next, the main cost of Conviv is the packet buffer and queue usage overhead for packet reordering on switches. To understand the overhead, we run a simulation on 128 hosts with 100 G ports diverse network loads and workloads such as RPC, storage, and hardware. In the evaluation, we see that the maximum buffer usage per switch is less than 2.5 MB and maximum queue usage is less than 15 queues per egress port. To put the results into the context, the overhead is much lower than the capacity of recent programmable switches, such as tens of megabytes of buffer and a hundred of physical FIFO queues. To summarize, in this paper we present Conviv, a network load balancing framework for RDME. Throughout the techniques in path monitoring, path selecting, and packet reordering, Conviv provides a fine-grained load balancing while ensuring in-order packet delivery. And from the test pay evaluation, we see that Conviv fits well into commodity RDME mix and comparable with Rocky V2. Thank you for listening.